Hello. So today is really day 13. Not yesterday. Yesterday was day 12, even though I said 13. And today is day 13 of the Earth Month Stitch Along Challenge. So I hope you've been stitching along. I've been posting, um, I've been reposting in my stories, people who, ha who are tagging me and are uh, stitching along. I can't wait to see more of you. And I am working on getting a, a web page for all of us together. So um, if you can send me photos of what you've done, nice good quality photos, at least 100%, uh, 100 res resolution and about 900 DPI on the shorter side, that should be just fine for our gallery web page. Um, anyhow, so today I'm working with this. Everybody knows what this is. This is one of those zip ties. This zip tie clearly served its purpose and was cut. And I saved another one. Here's another one. I'm going to do a little composition out of these zip ties. Um, and I have three needles pre-threaded with some embroidery floss that I had short lengths of. One of them is from yesterday, actually. So let me reverse this camera and show you what I'm up to. Okay, so here we have, whoops, here we have my camera falling over. Ha, okay, stay camera, what's going on here? Sorry, one second, there we go. It doesn't wanna, it, why is it falling over all of a sudden? Okay, there, we've got it. <laughs> okay, so here's my little piece of plastic and here are my two zip ties. I think, I want to cut one of them like this. Oh, it does not want to get cut. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, one of them is going to go like this. And then the other one is going to go here. I am deciding to make these into something plant-like. So two like this. And then I think I want to do another, a little one in the middle like this. Maybe I'll do this end down here, but let's see. Let me first stitch on the bigger piece. So here's some floss I have here, and I'm just going to do a very, very basic stitch. I'm going to start up here. Um, I'm just gonna go, it's just, it's gonna be sort of like couching. That's all it's going to be. I'm just, kind of, I want it to be attached and not going anywhere. That is really it. So I am just going to kind of hook it on here and hook it on there and hope it stays. Okay, though, that's the initial stitches. So now I am going to go like this. Just hoping not to uh, poke my fingers too much. Uh, just sort of like a, a very basic, very wide couching stitch that will hopefully keep everything in place. Okay. And like that. Yeah, I think it's staying quite well. Oops, it might be turning on me. Let's hope not. There we go. Nope, I got it. Oh, I've got it. It's staying. There we go. Okay, almost done at the bottom of this piece. Um, I think I'll just make, I'll take two stitches and then I'll tie a knot. It keeps wanting to turn on me. I'm gonna try to go through the same hole here and the same hole here as well. And now I'm just going to hook through here and just gonna hook through a couple of times and tie it in a knot. There we go. All right, so that's the first part. And I think I'll actually continue with this thread. I have enough. I'm just gonna tie off the end, oops, like that. And now this piece is gonna go over here. Okay, I like having them all going in the same direction. So I'm going to do basically the same way, 
just hook them through here like that and then do another one right here and then do one at the bottom here sort of like a flower head so to speak i think i like them being evocative of flowers and then i will continue sort of this couching type of idea for the rest of the stem just like i did on the larger one okay yep i think i'll have just enough thread to get all of this and be able to tie it off too okay yeah it keeps wanting to turn on me does not want to stand on its edge which is totally understandable it's the narrow edge right so i suppose it's not very comfortable for the silly little thing yes we will uh, make it into a live being what is it there's a word for it amorphize something i can't think of it but you know what i'm eating you know what i mean when you see something and you uh talk about it as though it's a live being i know silly but there it is it happens it happens okay so i'm tying this off and there i'm just gonna let that go and i have my two little flowers here now so now i want to add oh they can't they turned out to be a little bit more of an a pointier composition than i had initially wanted them to but that's what happens when you're stitching up in the air and things are just moving along okay so now i want to i think i'm going to add this little shorty guy over here and i have another needle pre-threaded this is wider uh this is six strands of embroidery floss um i'm going to start over here with i think two stitches to make sure it's stuck they're staying together like that and then I will continue with a couching thread. And I'll do that nice and long. I think two stitches should probably do it. Let's see. Yep. That was one. And now two. And now I'm going to take one stitch there to tie it off. Uh, actually, it's going to wind up being two stitches because I need to come back out through this hole again. And now I'm going to hook through here and tie it off. There we go. Okay, there's my little flower composition. I'm going to cut off this thread too. Um, yeah, there it is. There's my little flower composition. Um, I feel like it needs something else. I feel like it needs a sun or something. Uh, let's see. Oh, but I like the fact that it's sort of soft and not too, um, not too brightly colored. So I think I'm just going to cut a leaf shape from this. Just a general leaf shape. This is that, um, plastic that's made for um, stencil shapes or whatever else you need to use it for. And I think I'll just add a leaf right here. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to use this, whatever thread I have left on here. Um, and I'm just going to do a vein through the center of the leaf to, just to give it the idea that it's a leaf. There we go. And I think I can just do it in two stitches and that should be plenty to keep it interesting. There we go. And there you have it. There's my little very abstracted sort of flower plastic composition. Um, so to 
tie this off actually because it's such hard plastic i'm going to go back to this stitch over here take my needle through it a few times and then tie it off there we go that should stay there really well okay there's my little composition my little plastic zip tie flowers so thanks for joining me this is day 13 i'll see you tomorrow